Fields is Brittany Jackson from Lighting Technologies, and today we're going to talk about converting a quiz document for import. So you see here I'm in a Word document, and this is how your questions will have to be formatted in order for Moodle to be able to read these questions. So you have to have the question on its own line, and then you have to have a capital A period, and yes, the capitals do matter, your first answer, capital B period, your second answer, and again, the capitals matter, capital C period answer, and capital D period answer. And then you need answer in all capital letters, a colon, and the letter D, the correct answer as a capital letter. Then skip a section, you hit enter twice, and you put in the next question. And you could also use a parenthesis instead of a period, but you still have to make sure that these are capital letters. So you can put both of those in. And then here, we're going to come up here and do a file, save as, and type it, what you want to title it. But here on the file format, we're going to change this to a .txt, so a plain text file. We click on that, we hit save. It's going to come back with this file conversion test document, .txt. You want to choose other encoding, and you want to choose here UTF-8. And then come down here, click OK. So here we have this .txt file. So here now I'm back in Moodle, and I'm going to come up here, make sure editing is turned on. But I'm going to click the three gears first and choose import under question bank here. So there's a couple of imports on this page. Choose the one that's under question bank. So now you can see it's an import. For this particular file type, we want to choose the Aiken format. So you want to make sure that that is marked. I tend to leave everything in general as is, unless I want a particular category. I'm going to leave this one as the top category, which is the default middle playground overall, just because that is where I want to put it. And I typically leave match grades and stuff on error as the defaults. Now we come down here to import questions from file. And I come over here to upload a file, choose file. And then I have to find that test document that's a .txt. So I see that this says plain text. I hit open and then I hit upload this file. And then once I see it's there, I hit import. I see that everything's in green, everything seems good. If I go ahead and hit continue, I can now see those two questions that I just asked are now located in my question bank. So what is the correct answer? and which LMS has the most quiz import formats. So now if I want to import or utilize that question in a quiz, if I go back out to my quizzes and find the quiz that I want to work on, which I'll choose this one here, and I come over here to the gear and choose edit quiz. Now I choose add from a question bank instead of a new question. And as long as my category is correct, which is the default one, those two questions should be here. So here they are. I'm going to put a check mark in front of the two of them because those are the ones I want. You can tell here that they're multiple choice based on the image right beside it. This one here is an essay. These, this is a bonus question. I'm going to go ahead and click add selected questions to the quiz. And now we see we've got three questions in this quiz and two of them are those questions we talked about that we added today. And that's really all there is to adding a question bank using a Word document. As always, if you have questions, feel free to reach out to us. We're here to help. And happy modeling.